Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to triple your confidence with men. Out of the dozens of questions I get every single week, a bulk of them in invariably have this underlying theme of how can I become more confident? How can I do more to reach out and connect with someone, find that special someone in my life? And today I'm going to share with you five very specific areas of focus that you can apply immediately, like today, if you do this consistently, literally triple your confidence when you connect with someone, uh, or more than that. <laughs> the first thing I'll say to you is do something you adore every single day, no matter what. No effing excuses, okay? Every, if every single day you wake up and you know that at least something that you really enjoy doing, you'll find a way to make it happen. If it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is, you'll come up with a way to really just get into it and do it. That aliveness, that connection with yourself, that radiance, and that almost alignment with your own purpose in some way is going to generate a level of confidence that no amount of tricks and, and, and tips can actually give you. When you are living, even if it's in a small, even if you work all day and you only have a, little, a few minutes, but you're doing something to look forward to, you have that thing to look forward to in your day. When you connect with someone, there's a space within you that can shine in a natural way the fact that you're already fulfilling part of your mission in life. So that's the first thing I'll say before anything else. The second thing is, I'll tell you that physiology is everything. Physiology is everything simply means that the emotional state you're in, whether it's confidence or fear, whether it's taking action, or whether it's being excited or being uh, anxious, has everything to do with the way you move your body, the way you're standing, the way you're breathing. So make a very conscious effort to one, take control of your breath. The way you're breathing is going to immediately affect the way you connect with someone. And second, the way you move, the way you smile, the way you position yourself, the way you walk, all those things, if you make a conscious effort to move them in a way where you act with confidence, you, the confidence will be felt. It's not something you're faking again, it's something that comes from the inside out. The third thing I'll say is when you connect with someone, when you're connecting with a guy, make the entire interaction, the entire outcome your goal is to figure out if this is someone that you're interested in, someone that's worthy of your time. Most women make the mistake of connecting with a guy and figuring out or thinking that the outcome is to land the guy. The outcome is to make him be interested, interested in her. Or the outcome is for him to like her. If that is your outcome, you're going to not be yourself. You're going to try to move in a way or manipulate things in such a way that he likes you. If you're being natural, if your goal is to find out through a conversation being with energy, if that person is worth more of your time, if you like him enough to where you can spend more time with him, then everything falls more naturally. And because you don't have this high stake of what has to happen, then you lose the fear. If, you're, if your interaction with someone is to figure out if you like them, you are a lot more confident than if your outcome is for him to like you. Okay? Uh, number four is take more empowered action. Take more empowered action means two things. One, simply put take more action. In number of actions, take more action. If you're not taking enough action, you are not building the necessary skills to become confident in someone. Let's say that you're learning to drive, okay? And as you're learning to drive, you drive once every four months. You take your car out on your block. How confident will you be that you can drive? You're gonna be insanely confident. You're gonna be very anxious about driving. If, on the other hand, you actually go to a, uh, after you drive a little bit in your block, you take yourself, to a road that has more cars and then to a very busy road and you do this for like three days in a row, you're gonna feel intensely more confident about doing this. Same thing is true with connecting with people. The more you connect with people, the more you connect with people from this place that I'm sharing with you, the more natural it will be. Another thing will happen is that you will actually see in real life certain results show up. When those results show up, those are momentum that keep your excitement flowing and that keep you sustainably taking more action. So it's almost like a good cycle that you get yourself on. The last one is simply a knowing. It's not something you really do as much as understand. And that's the understanding that we guys are just as afraid as you are, We're probably more scared than you are. Sometimes because we've been taught since we're little boys to not show emotion, to keep it cool, to be just strong, to not cry. We've built this wall around our hearts sometimes that allow us to sometimes act in a way where we seem confident, even when we're like really inside our hearts, wanting to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 
So if you understand that a guy is just going to be going to be just as nervous as you are, even if he's not showing it, then you might relax and understand. You know what? He might not be showing it, but he might be just as scared as I am. So we're in equal footing right now. If you do these five things, I can promise you that you can triple or quadruple the level of confidence you have. So uh, do this and, and write to me. Send me an email. Send me an, uh, uh, something in my Facebook page. Let me know how this is working for you. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.